She was back in that red rag top. When she said, please don't stop loving me. Y'all don't know nothing about that red rag top. Red rag top. Listen, I hope you got your boots on for this one. This might get a little sticky. Your knees got to look like that. If you're at home working and your knees don't look like that, we don't believe you. But guys, we're gonna combine this here onto another uh, video coming up, maybe tomorrow or so. And uh, we'll combine the two and you guys will kind of see the same transition over the, la over the last couple days. So uh, thanks for watching. I think that's what no cap say. No cap. Miss my dog. You gotta put Odisha down concrete. Like some missing picks. Just 
I won't accept nothing less. He's buried down there with his blanket and such, collar. Only thing he's missing is a hot dog, maybe old battery. He used to get them batteries. I tried to get rid of them over and over, but I'm glad we hung around to see this old thing through. I tried to get rid of them. So if you out there watching the channel, and your wife has a dog at home and gets on your nerves, remember, be patient with your woman. Because one day this day will come, and she'll cry all night long. For your time. Here's the eulogy you've been waiting on. Lisa, when you get up there, get after it. The journey is the reward. Make sure you give up, get up there and give heaven some hell. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Yeah. Stay tuned. Well, good morning, family. We are working on our chicken coop door. Chris outside today. We're putting some stuff together. Stay I'm tuned. Introducing this thing, but uh, I wanted to show you what I'm doing first. What we're doing is y'all saw this the front part of this video where we were working on diesel's uh, grave site here. What we're gonna do with this here, now we're gonna turn it flat away. I say flat away. And we're gonna turn it into a door to split that old chicken coop. So I'm gonna give this thing back to Hannah and I'll let her, after she gets done screwing up her push pop over here, I'll let her introduce you and walk through you, what you, what we got to do today. Listen, I told Hannah to turn this thing on because I want Marquise to tell that boy at work he's working with. This is country style. This is country style. It don't matter how you do it. You can get after country style in the drive through window. Ah, right, here with a couple two by four. Don't really matter how you do it. Listen. As long as you got good surveys, you got good drive through times, you're getting after it. Marquise will tell you what we used to do. All right, cut it right there. I'm talking too much. As long as you can just get after it. Listen, and Marquise will tell you, anytime you're working with chicken wire, you can just assume right off the bat that you're getting after it. That right there is more country than chicken wire. Yeah. All right, guys, here's a final look at that thing. We got our chicken wire on. Hannah was getting after it. We're going to put some hinges on that left side there. And uh, we're going to hang this thing in the middle of our chicken coop area to split where our Brahma chicks and our laying hens are going in together at. So, uh, RJ, now I understand why you say you don't like work with that chicken wire. I got cuts practically everywhere. Alright guys, here's a final look at that gate you guys saw us building. We got it set up where we can keep the chicks on the back side here. And uh, inside this from here, the chicks out there in the runs can come in and use this area to lay eggs there. And to stay kind of out of the weather. And we've got this end up right here it releases right there and it'll open up and it'll open on around that way where we can kind of go through let's go through and check out the chips and i discuss let's see are y'all still gonna be rude to our audience also i need to say since i don't really have the time like i used to have to call people and check on everybody 
I kind of use this old uh, YouTube uh, thing as a way to keep up with our birthday shout out. So, Frog, happy birthday to Frog Son. I don't know if it's Son Son, I don't know which one, but happy birthday to him. I did see that on Facebook. Hadn't got a chance to call you yet, but uh, if this video here airs in enough time, hopefully I'll be on time. If not, I might be a day late. But uh, happy birthday from Florida, Alabama, all the way up to Washington, D.C. Happy birthday. We got those chicks moved around, and it looked like they in there by the hundreds. Don't really know. But Marquise insured me on this go round that these will be game. Some of these from Circle C. We're going to get them fed up now and watch these things grow out. Thanks for watching. And I just decided, fresh out of the chicken coop, before I end this thing today, I'm going fishing with Yunes. Let's get baited up. So here we have it. Let me show Yunes what we're throwing today. We got, as you can see, three at pin shad here. I've got them baited up, and I've got one behind them as old striker hook. If any of Yunes, oh, I'm sorry, run back to an old barber, old school style. Let me show Yunes how to get there it is there in the water there. But, uh, if any of you follow the channel, you know I'm an avid kayak catfish follower. And he's been throwing that bait with that striker rig. There, Shelby. He's been throwing that bait with that striker rig behind me. Here it is. Got it hooked to a bobber. Y'all, I'm talking about dependable. Listen, I'm talking about Eagle Claw bait holder hook dependable. Y'all don't know nothing about that Eagle Claw. Thrown out there, and we'll check back with y'all when something happens. Stay tuned. Hoping to catch some big today, big and country. Y'all know how I like them, big and country. I'm talking country like an old-fashioned game of tic-tac-toe. They say, you know, they call us new generation, but the new new generation, they don't play tic-tac-toe no more. I could, I, I, they never could beat me in tic-tac-toe. And connect for neither. I still believe I'm undefeated in that Connect 4. Got it floating up against the bank now. We just going to see what happens, y'all. I don't have time to babysit it. I got to get back over here to this garden area. Because them squash is just jumping up. Every day. Some more squash. Some more eggs. Countryside. An old-fashioned tub of blue bell. Y'all know bluebell tastes just like the good old days. Don't act like it don't. Bluebell tastes just like the good old days. Look like, look like she getting after it over there. Stay tuned. Guys, I'm having to run over. Because you, you guessed that right. We're hooked up. I just walked right past this rod and left it on the bank here. And that old orange barber swimming. And I'm out of breath because I had to run over. I might start running suicides with my team. Let's get up here. Let's see what he let's see. Let's see what he is. I tell you right off, he thinks he's tough. I'm gonna give him a good fight, but I'm gonna try whoop. He made that Shakespeare holler out. He made that Shakespeare holler out. Rachel, if you're watching this thing, a good Father's Day gift or Christmas gift will be fishing material. Our survival material. That's a, always a good idea. Because these fish got this Shakespeare just a hollering out here. I'm following this thing all the way around the bank so I can get to my flyer. Because I got a feeling he's going to be mean as can be. When we get this thing banked, or where you guys can see it, we'll see if he ate that shocker rig up underneath that Justin told me to throw. Or... We'll see if he just went for the bottom one, the one that's deepest. Let's see. Whoop. He's, he says, guys, he says he ain't going that way. He says, that way just ain't for him, he said. Huh? Looks like, guys, looks like he might have hit the top rig. We've got him banked here in the mud. Let me set this camera up where you can see us get this fish off here. He's not a flathead. I, I thought by the takedown he was definitely a flathead. 
you guys i tried to tell i tried to tell you was on the channel about that old eagle claw you just can't hardly beat an old eagle claw but uh he looks like a good fish he's right in that fun size range uh whoa i can't hardly hold on to him he give that old walmart special a fit i don't know if you've seen that or not but uh listen tell the people on the channel tell them say like and subscribe you don't want to talk do you? you can't talk with no water can you y'all let's get him back I, well he won't let me put him back let's see if we can get him back y'all let's just roll him right off that edge there since he wants to be tough there he is Hey guys, I really don't have nothing else to do. Why not? Let's just catch another one. Same exact setup, y'all. Give us two more. Y'all, I guess the cows here, the cows here, they were biting, biting pretty good over on this side. They say, why don't we just jump on in and just see? So, uh, nevertheless, we're going to throw out another bait or so, but I don't know if the fish is going to, I don't know if the bite's going to be there, especially with the cows say. We want this section. That's what they say. We want this section. But uh, a little something different, y'all. We got a whole shad, and then we got a cut shad there. We're going to put that cut shad on the back side. We're going to put that hole in there on the front side. Uh, running a little low on bait. It might be time for me and Marquise to get out and probably throw those nets. But uh, let me get this thing baited up, and I'll check back with you guys here shortly. So there it is again, guys. And uh, Hannah felt the need to correct me. She said it's not no shock or nothing. She said it's called the stinger rig. So we got the stinger rig. Whatever it is, it's working today. We're going to throw it back out there, y'all. Same spot, main channel ledge today. Stay tuned. Peacocks are settling in good, y'all. They're settling in good. We're feeding all the animals up. And uh, we're going to try to get everything fed up. And get everything checked on. Got to check on. Looks like Hannah's and pull some green beans. Let me figure out what she wants to do with this thing. We'll get some feed in this scoop and check back with y'all, all right? Country like throwback field vassal. What y'all know about throwback field vassal? Bobby with the eye. Come over and feed our turkeys, y'all. We're going to let them do some eating, I say. back up and we'll, and we'll head on over and so we've got these chicks fed let's go check out let's go check out them eggs why don't it ain't nothing more country than having to check on eggs we'll get off down off through there let's see if they let me in or if they won't fight me today i don't know how they're feeling ouch let's see what we got going on over here we don't have nothing going on yet let's get on down there where we can see them they're still nesting there. Still in there. Still looking good. We should have about 12 or 13 more days on. Yeah, he thinks it's tough. Sometimes I had to show him. I got a little bit of Kelso in the bottom of me too. But uh, let's get that scoop back in our hands. Let's feed our peacocks as well. I've got that line thrown out there on that old Shakespeare. And uh, I turned my head around the corner a minute there, and that old bobber was moving. And I put dead bait on there. It ain't got no business moving. Frozen shad shouldn't be moving. Is that a white head? Y'all, yeah. I gotta go get some eggs out of white head tiles over here. Cause I found a turkey egg this morning. And I'm gonna put it under. Ain't nothing like putting it under. We better edit that nap. Y'all might get carried away with that. Sneak off down in here, off down in here, and we're gonna get us a little or two. We'll take that. What y'all say? We'll take that. And uh, we'll take that. And we're a hundred percent certain. Let's look at it. What y'all say? We'll take that in too. 
I'm trying to hurry before I get caught. Let's see. Guy, I'm gonna show y'all this egg and put them down here, but I've got to hurry up and go because I just looked over and I wouldn't lie to you it's on the channel. That rod's hooked up again. I've got to get over there. Let's jog over. This is how I stay in shape. I get my workout Roy Jones style, old school. Roy Jones. Listen. Oh, he's a dink. I felt him then when I set the hook. What do you say we? What do y'all say we put some steel in his jaw? I told you guys that eagle claw gonna get it done every time. Let's get him on over here. Let's get him right on over here. Oh, he's definitely a dink. Definitely a dink. If I had the energy, I'd take him up there and introduce an old big bean. Let's see if we can just snatch him up here. He's a dink. What y'all said we just snatch on him? Let's get him off there. Y'all, when it comes to this fish here, I've got to say something really important. I feel like he's tough. So I'm going to take my time trying to get this hook out of it. He didn't like that Roy Jones joke. But uh, let me set this camera up here. If any of you on the channel has any sports interest at all, you know Roy Jones used to do old country whooping. He used to have them chickens too. I saw the documentary. He used to have them chickens. Let's see here. Yeah, I normally put him in the freezer and go ahead and cut him on out. But since we're not in the market today, he says, hurry up and put me back. Now, he says, guys, let's put this guy back. He's been a good one. Can't beat an old school eagle claw. Seems that Big Fred, a.k.a. Cornbread, found out how the eggs work. He said he liked Muscovy too. Muscovy makes good breakfast, he said. First thing they do is fly right out here and want to jump in the creek. I had to slow CJ down. He's back there laying on the bridge. I'm talking about country like a four year old with his shoes on the wrong feet. So. Gotta walk over and set our trap. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'm talking about. Down in that country, down in the creek, trying to bring him up out of there. Skylar says she's checking in for her segment. What do you need to tell the people, baby girl? The journey is the reward. That's right. She said the journey is the reward. And give us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. That's right. Whoa. Country. Right, what now? Okay, but you got to find your other shoe. Y'all, we're going to get this trap. We got it all baited up. We're going to get it set out. We appreciate you guys watching this extended video we got going on here. What we've done is just combined a couple videos because there were some meaningful things that we kind of wanted to remember. Sorry why I enjoy my popsicle. But uh, thank y'all for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Get out of here.